Oh, each character has their own. Hmm. Interesting. I don't like that, that it flashed like that. It kind of spooked me. Okay, the baby Jesus just lost its head. Somewhere in the forest is a stream. Maybe a flower bed and a grove full of old trees. Like the ones in storybooks. Fairies darting in and out of knot holes. Is her volume good for you? Holly, get your head out of the clouds. I'm not here for that. This isn't some storybook. Fairies, they aren't real. It's like what Mom always said. There are only angels and demons. One of those moms I see. So this is the place. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Huh? Door is open? Just leave. I'm kind of quiet. I was just kind of muttering there. I'm talking normally now. Do I sound okay? Let me move my mic a little bit closer. I'm still in the yellow range. <laughs> All right, there we go. Hello? Excuse me, is anyone here? Silence. Maybe the whole thing got canceled. That'd be nice. I'll have the whole place to myself. <laughs> All the mysterious adventures I can get into. A lone, abandoned convent. Why were you sent to a convent? No parents, no adults, just me. Never mind, you're not alone. Is that... Oh, that must be them. Well, so much for that fantasy. Shoot who? Shoot who? I'm creeped out by these statues already. It's coming from further in. Hello? It's a group of nuns. I probably shouldn't disturb them. Heard that some nuns spend their entire lives singing prayers. Prayers for God, prayers for the world, for the sinners. Well, sounds like it'd get boring after a while. I feel it. It does. A little bit. <sighs> but, well, it's, it's for a good cause. Our order's sacred mission and all that. Lower your voice. It's ill manners to disturb prayer. I see you're not a full nun yet, because your hair is exposed. Oh, oh, sorry. Where the hell did she come from? Okay, just chill out, Holly. It's just a nun. <laughs> is everything all right? You were talking to yourself. Sneaky nun. Sneaky nun. Was I? I didn't notice. Yeah, the thing is about the visual novels this company makes is anything that's like in your head is on voice, but anything that's actually allowed by the character, you, like spoken aloud by the character, you say it's voiced. So it's a bit an on-off reading. 
Oh, it's kind of drowning me? Hold on. Uh, hold on. Save. Options, uh... Does it count as background music? Okay, it does seem to be background music. Is that better? Yep, I now. Here we come. <laughs> it's all right. I do that too. This place has a very special air to it. It's hard not to get caught up in my own thoughts sometimes. Um, yeah. I gotta say, this place. It's bigger than I expected. Oh, yes. Used to get lost all the time. I still do, to be honest. <laughs> and here I am, chattering away again. How can I help you? I'm here for the recollection? Recollection? What is that? Oh, yes, yes, of course! Oh, you're looking for our dearest and most admirable Mother Superior. Down the hallway? third room to the left, probably in the middle of one of her stunning lectures. I see. Uh, thank you very much, and, um, sorry again for disturbing you. Oh, please. I'm here to help. By all means, feel free to disturb me anytime. <laughs> to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why she, if she went to a covenant, if, if it wasn't of her own free will, if she was sent here. I have no idea about any of these characters. And I also have no idea what a recollection is, we're gonna learn that. Even though I was raised Christian, I have barely any knowledge of this shit. <laughs> okay. <sighs> They're getting younger every year. Getting younger every year? That's an odd comment. Huh? Oh, nothing! It's always good to start early. Anyway, I hope you enjoy your stay here. Oh uh, yeah, it looks like our mom shipped us, shipped us off to become a nun. From the looks of it. Yeah. Sure. Th thank you. Hmm. I'm 15. I'm not that young girl. That is... <laughs> that is very young to become a nun in the modern age. If this is the modern age. I'm led to believe this is the modern age based on the outfit of the other girl that we saw. You are baby! You are baby child! Maybe it was that stupid little scream I made. Nice job, Holly. Looking real composed back there. I can't tell if, like, these statues are covered with something, or if that's just how they look. place huh? whoa looks like someone's been trying to put it back together piece by piece Ooh. a little crown of thorns skull must have taken a lot of work though still doesn't look right careful plaster still fresh on that one just one touch can bend the whole thing out of shape and i guess is she gonna scream again <laughs> Yep, almost. Our most venerable founder was particularly fond of this one. Saint Rita of Cassia. Are you familiar? I am not, but you also don't have a frock. I'm confused. I thought, like, nuns weren't allowed to take off their frocks. At, at least, maybe in the olden days. I'm confused. I don't know. I don't know anything. Born 1381, died in 1457. The fact you know that. <laughs> Patron saint of lost in impossible causes. Um, yes, a bit. I feel like she was... in a home where her mother was, like, very forceful of, like, this kind of knowledge on her. Also, I just noticed, like, my logo is on top of the character portrait, so I'm just gonna... Hold on. Turn off my logo for this, and I'm gonna... Oops. Just chat a little bit. 
Actually, no, the logo can stay. It's just chat that needs to be adjusted. I take that down to 900. There we go. Now you're not in the waiver. So you can see, like, the expression she's making now. At the age of 12, she married into an abusive family. I always get appalled by how young people were married back in ancient times. Maybe since they're in a monastery, so maybe it's just the characters can be more distinguished? Maybe, maybe. Regrettably, her two sons grew up to take after their father. Violent. Vengeful. And so, she prayed to God to save their souls. And so, God answered. They died of disease soon after. How do you consider that saving? A harsh lesson but an important one to take to heart. God works in mysterious ways. Even death can sometimes be a mercy. I mean, in the case of Curly from mouthwashing, I feel like him dying would have been a mercy instead of being forced to live like that. But just them suddenly dying of disease out of nowhere, I don't feel like that's a mercy. I... I see. <laughs> but enough of that. You've yet to introduce yourself. Oh, hello there. I'm Holly Beltron. Oh, yes, Miss Holly. I've been expecting you, though I don't recall receiving you. Huh? Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I knocked, but no one came. And so you chose to trespass instead? Like, this is a place that's supposed to be open. So she came in looking for someone. What do you expect her to do? Just wait outside? For like, hours maybe? This is a monastery. You're supposed to accept people. What? Or a no, convent. I didn't mean to. It was a convent. Was just... Give whatever name you want to your sin, Miss Holly. It is still a sin, nonetheless. <sighs> I'm rolling my eyes. <laughs> She looks like she's about to cry. Your bags. Kindly lay them down. My bags? You're gonna take my shit, aren't you? This is gonna be like one of those things like, you're not gonna need these mortal possessions. Oh, you'd be surprised the things that we find. Cigarettes, contraceptives, pornography. Can you imagine bringing okay, yeah, such those things, things I can imagine not wanting God. here. Astounding. That's horrible. I should have covered it. Or at least kept it in a hidden pocket. Not that my bag has any. Mm -hmm. Well, what do we have here? I knew it. I'd even bring that stupid thing. Kylie oh. Taylor, the sorceress of Witchwood. Are you really gonna complain about a stupid storybook? Well, not stupid, because obviously it, it means a lot to Holly, but are you seriously going to complain about a storybook? Uh, that's just something I'm reading. Oh, yes. Well, it is always good to read. I myself simply love books. Books can enrich. They can teach. But... When observing a work, never forget to take spirituality into account, especially when it comes to material written for young, impressionable minds. Hmm. Now she's going through it now. And there it was, cradled just beneath the canopy of elder trees, candlelight pouring from the notched windows, and the sound of laughter echoing from within. This was her new home. It was here that she would learn magic. Magic. Such an innocent sounding word. Yeah, she doesn't like it. But, dear child, there are no greys when it comes to witchcraft. All of it, black as sin. 
You, you, you can understand that fantasy is completely different, right? It's just make-believe, right? People can enjoy make-believe stories! A proper child of God would know this. Huh? I, I hate her. Guys, you wanna throw tomatoes at her? I'm gonna save. Alright, calm down. We can do this. We've always been good at this. Tell her what she wants to hear. Play dumb Holly, it works all the time. Uh, hmm. Play dumb or tell her what she wants to hear. I feel like she's just gonna berate us if we play dumb. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Hmm? I noticed something was off as soon as I started reading it. She's gonna realize we're lying. Cause. You probably, like, marked the pages in this book a lot. And still, you kept it. Stubbornness on my part. I spent a good chunk of my allowance on it, so I was hoping I could return it. But even so, I really should be more mindful when it comes to these things. Hmm. Hmm. I realize I'm not making a very good first impression. I've been looking forward to this for weeks. I guess I've been so excited that I've just been all over the place lately. Moving forward, I'll try my best to improve. I'm sorry. <sighs> oh, improvement. There you go. That is one thing that we, the Sisters of Saint Idolora, hold very dear. Yeah, yeah. For Saint Rita's children, death was their only salvation. But for those willing to fix themselves, well, you'll find that this convent is the perfect place for spiritual rebirth. Here, you can be anyone you want to be. <laughs> no, I can't, lady. No, I can't. Cause if this if Holly told you she wanted to be like a fiction author, you'd probably like want to kick her out immediately. Yeah, I I don't like you. Anyone I want to be? Y yes, I understand. That that sounds great. I'd like that. Well, now that we've settled that, let's start things off the right way. I am Sister Adira. And I will be in charge of your spiritual formation for the next few weeks. It's very nice to meet you, Sister Adira. <laughs> Here you can be anyone you want to be. Here, in the conservative Catholic nun school. Not even a nun school, a covenant. There, that wasn't or so convent, hard. Or convent, however it? you say it. And as for your book, I think it's best that I, knew I it. keep it. I knew it. But... She can't just take it. Do we let it go, or do we fight to keep it? Like I said, I'm going into this blind. I only know, like, one. when I was looking up how many endings there were, apparently there's one ending where you have to be more, like, supportive of the other character that we'll eventually meet, like, her decision, so, hmm. Wait, please! I... 
Yeah. <laughs> yes, she can. Of course she can. There's no use arguing. Better just let the whole thing go. <laughs> it's nothing. Never mind. We let her take it anyway. Hmm. Miss Holly, I take it you're an avid reader? Yes, ma'am. Then that also means you enjoy writing, yes? Y yes I guess. I guess I didn't bring any of my fanfics. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that would have been bad if you'd brought your fanfics, girl. But like Why are you here in the first place? Why were you excited to be here? Have a field day with those. Oh, wait here for just a moment. Oh no. Three from. Oh, is there pumpkins? Hold on. Uh, where do I go to? Uh, uh. Click out of the game. Uh. A viewer attack. Configure. All right, we got free jack o' lanterns now. Oh, all right. Volume. Uh, hold on. Happy Halloween. Yeah, let me turn down the volume on that. <laughs> I'll let it have a little bit of volume. There we go. Why are you going a pumpkin at me? Wait here for just a moment. Oh dear, what you getting? This should Happy suit you Halloween. just fine. Prayer journal. This is so lame. Pray with style? Prayers at the end of every page. A journal. Time has a funny way of muddling memory. Uh -huh. It helps to have an anchor. That way, we can always look back and see the old with new, fresh eyes. This next week will be integral to your spiritual formation. It would be best to keep a record of your thoughts. Mm. As we've discussed, not all stories are worth reading. But if you keep your heart open, there's definitely a story for you here. A story of your own personal journey with God. Can I trust you to do that? Yes, ma'am, and thank you. Sister Adira, please call me Sister Adira. For our time together, I'd like to think of us as family. Family. Like I needed more of that. Now, come this way. I'll show you to your room. Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, sister, Adira. <laughs> Idly tear in the sorceress of Witchwood. Notes all over the margins. Letter on the first page, pink ink, strawberry scent. Limited edition cover, signed. And I'm never seeing it again. Ugh. Yikes. God damn it. <sighs> it's fine, Holly. Relax. This is for the best. No, it's not. You're not here for that. You're here to be better. You're 15. Why are you even here? Dot, dot, dot. Gabriella! Hot. Hi. 
Ah, oh, Gabriella. This is Holly. She will also be joining us for the recollection. Hey there. Just call me Gabby. Gabriella is your God-given name. It's a name Sheesh. you were born with. And I happen to think it's quite lovely. Be proud of it. Abbreviations tend to only confuse. This is my reaction to her, too. Right. No nicknames allowed. That's news to me. No water. <coughs> <coughs> And I hope it's news you take to heart. We do, after all, have rules here, Miss Gabriella. Yeah, sure. Uh, she doesn't want to be here. <laughs> oh boy, well, we're off to a good start. Okay, just do what you do best, Holly. You know the drill. Tell her that Gabriella is a pretty cool name. Let them know how excited you are to be here. <laughs> I feel like no matter what, she's not gonna like it, but let's compliment her name. Hello there, pleased to meet you. My name's Holly, and for the record, I think Gabriella is a pretty cool name. Had a classmate named Gabriella. Really smart. Ran for the student council. Though now that I think about it, she might have lost. It was close. You're rambling, though. Holly. Good to know. <laughs> so, um, are we the first ones to arrive? To think that I was worried I might have been late. What if these two are the only two here for this thing? Why- why do that? Why do what? Why do what? Okay, hold on. Let me- let me see the other option. Hey! I just wanted to say that I'm very excited to spend the week with you guys. Gabriella, I can already tell that we're going to be great friends. Yeah, sure. She, it's the same response, no matter what. And Sister Adira, I'm already looking forward to all the great lessons you'll be teaching us. Rest assured, you are in capable hands. Wonderful. So, um, are we the first ones to arrive? To think that I was worried I might have been late. As of now, Miss Holly, we are complete. The recollection will start first it thing... It really is just the two of them. Wait, seriously? There's only two of us. Yes. Sadly, as of late, attendance has been quite low. Gee, I wonder why. Can't imagine why. <laughs> there she goes again. Is she for real? Like, real subtle girl. Oh, I think you know the answer, Gabriella. <sighs> Distractions. So many distractions we're letting into our lives. And even in these trying times, we still take for granted God's loving grace. You two, however, are very fortunate that your parents were responsible enough to take an active role in your formation. Okay, so we're just teenagers being sent here by force. Yeah, sure. Um... That's true, Miss the Sister Adira. I believe these few weeks will be an enlightening experience for all of us. You're being such a suck up, and I think she's gonna hate us for that. Yes, yeah, she hates us. Well, I'm so glad to hear that, child. Recollections like these are a very special opportunity, and I hope that both of you will be wise enough to seize it. Yeah, I'm already feeling God's almighty wisdom. <laughs> Music, say that a bit louder, why don't you? 
I will give you the rest of the day to settle in. We shall start first thing tomorrow. It does. But until then, I urge you both to take in the silence this place has to offer. Reflect. Pray. Not gonna lie, Sister Deera, silence drives me crazy. And she gone. Awkward. She sure is something. But maybe we just got off on the wrong foot? Like it or not, we're roommates now. We should probably say something to her. Though, doesn't look like we have much in common. What's up? You're... staring. Oh, sorry! I... I was just wondering... Okay, Holly, here goes. Just play it cool. She's not gonna know anything about this place. some cute bracelets you got there. Look, let's just cut to the chase. What are you here for, exactly? Oh, hold up there. Why does this sound like prison talk? Because <laughs> that's probably what it is. It's them. I excuse me? What do you mean? This isn't exactly a prime summer destination. Dingy convent up in the mountains, prayer sessions every other hour, Bible readings, character building lectures. Pretty sure they'll even have us do chores and stuff. You don't really go here unless, you know, you're one of those types. Oh, I see. Well, I might not like it here, but I needed this. Are you sure? Time away from home, away from my parents. Well, maybe if the household is abusive, I can understand that then. They worry, I mean, of course they worry. For everything that's happened, oh, tragic backstory, I guess. I mean, sure, it's not exactly my idea of fun. But once this is all done, I can come back to my mom with a big smile on my face. Tell her that I'm better. Tell her that everything's okay. I'll go back to being the perfect little angel she expects me to be. Yeah, that's the plan. Um... Hello? You okay? <gasps> oh, yeah! Sorry, I... Never mind, it's fine. You don't have to answer. No, no! You see, um... Not something I want to talk about. You should probably say that. But does that come off as rude? We're telling the truth. No, that's- Oh, come on, really? Why give me the option, then? Where would I even begin? I should just make something up. I see. Well, in that case, I don't think we have much to talk about. Yeah, you won't open up to her, so she's not gonna m open up to you, Holly. W wait, what? Let me spell it out for you. I don't want to be here. And if you're thinking that by the end of this, we'll be braiding each other's hair and talking about boys and, I don't know, having Bible study sessions together or whatever. <sighs> you're mistaken. Yeah. Oh. All right. Glad we got that out of the way. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got stuff to unpack. Her deal. <laughs> Just trying to make things work. Well, I guess this is my bed for the next few days. I should start unpacking too. Not the nicest looking place, but maybe if I fix it up a bit? There we go. Looking better already. A little corner to call my own. Been a while since I've shared a room with someone. You had a sister, didn't you? It's been even longer since I've slept in a room that wasn't my own. All feels so familiar. Hmm. Maybe a bit too familiar. Yep, you had a sister. 
You had a sister. Something happened to the sister. I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, she turned down the picture of the sister. Yeah, I think that's better for now. Hmm. What else do I have here? Story of my own, huh? Hopes and wishes, huh? I wish I had I really wish I had my book. Be nice getting lost in the pages. Turns this out to be a heartfelt secret and a little push. That's all it takes to get into the mysterious world of Witchwood. Let me get a cozy in my blanket. My girl, too. Oops. Yeah, how do I bring that back? Uh, okay, I gotta have... I gotta have my hat on. Uh, actually, no. If I click out of the game, I should be able to take my hat Comfy now. Just what the hell are you writing? This is a prior journal. <laughs> she is writing fanfic in her journal. <laughs> That's right. This won't do it all. I'm supposed to be talking to God. Focus, Holly. Looking it out. My dear Heavenly Father, well, here I am. I wonder what we'll be up to tomorrow. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure you'll be with me every step of the way. We started off a bit rough, but I'm optimistic for the wonderful journey ahead. Amen. Good night. Settle into your new home, and it's a very. That was a different sound effect. Compared to the usual one for, uh, for Steam. Psst. Hey, Holly. We did have a sister. Huh? Liana? What are you doing? Uh, I, I can't sleep. That's not my problem. Can fix that. Behold my special move. And yeah, we had a lot of Christianity stuff in our house too, and like a pray poster. Ah! Uh, yep, twin sister. Twin sister. Something happened. Whoa, Yana. <sighs> okay, okay, I'm up. Mission accomplished. Ugh, Yana. Oh, we have red eyes. She has blue eyes. Huh? What's that you got there? Just a book. Want to see it? Oh, wow. I don't remember Mom buying oh, this. Oh, God. The book belonged to the sister, too. That, make, that makes the, 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 the nun taking it worse. But, like, that was probably a memento. Jeez. She didn't. No one lent it to me. Pretty cool, huh? See? Her name's Kylie. She's strong and brave. Just oh, no. like someone else I know. Did she just take it from a friend? Huh? You really think so? Nah, just trying to get on your good side. Here's the coolest part. She's... She's a witch. <laughs> uh, what? Liana, you know how mom gets. Remember what it. happened when you brought home that toy devil? I knew it. I knew it. Dragon. It was a dragon. It's not my fault mom wasn't listening. And she's still not going to listen if she finds something like this. Look, Liana, you need to stop getting yourself in trouble. 
don't worry so much. I'll just hide it in a place she'll never find. But... <sighs> just give it back as soon as you can. Well, about that... You see... I was... Um... Thinking... Maybe... We could read it together? Just like how we used to? Really? Maybe, I don't know. I have no idea, Zofifi. I literally do not know anything about this game other than what was shown in the trailer. And that is, people are stuffed into statues. Y yeah but if you don't want to... No, it's... Okay, sure, we can read it. But only because the cover looks cool. Come on over here. <laughs> Give her little sister Farley the best birthday ever. Why did they just tell you that straight up? That makes no sense, honestly. Oh, Kylie has a sister? I is that her picture? Uh, I like her. She's mine. I'm doing her voice. <laughs> you don't you. even know her yet. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I got this feeling. Mom. Mom! Holly, hide the book! Shh, quiet. Just stay still. What cr oh, it did. stuck between sleeping and waking up. Just breathe, Holly. Breathe. <laughs> Sleep, Polly. Just relax. Playing the nun.
We're playing the nun now. And every time I tap out of my emotion, it changes. Okay, so I rebinded my uh, button so that wouldn't happen again. <laughs> At least for the thing, because that that I was not expecting that to happen. I was not expecting that to happen at all. <laughs> I just saw Dana's DM. We the the game didn't want us playing as the nun lady apparently. Get the game back up. Uh, we're back here again. <laughs> Skip through this. Part. It reset everything to what it was before, but the crash. That's so weird. All right, I'm gonna test to see if the new thing doesn't do it. Okay, good. I can toggle my my, my scared emoji now. I'll wait for give everyone a chance to come in. Doggo! I see the doggo you sent me. Ah, shit. It reset that, too! Oh, me. Just the chat box again. There we go. <laughs> yeah, the game doesn't want us to play as the nun. Aww, real sad doggo. There it is, the first ray of morning light. Breathe, <clears throat> breathe deep, take it in. Another day, another brilliant gift from God. Another opportunity to serve. Hmm. I'm quite pleased with it, though it still wouldn't be enough for her. Cracks still need to be filled. Blemishes need to be sanded. And of course, a new coat of paint. But for now, well, there are more apparent matters. I must not be distracted. Oh, dearest Heavenly Father. You visited me in your dreams last night, don't worry. I remember. In my hands, you put a chisel. In the other, the holy bobble. The Bible. Their use perfectly clear. Once again, we now host young and impressionable guests on these sacred grounds. It has been a while. I am a bit nervous. I only ask that you give me the strength. The strength to be a worthy mentor in the coming days. May your teachings guide my words that I may impart wisdom. May your hands guide mine as I form these young girls to be the woman you want them to be. Amen. Let's get ready. We've got a busy day ahead of us, after all. I think we're back to Holly. Huh? Who? Uh. 
Oh, um, sorry. It's nothing. It's not nothing. She it's knows. Not 30 minutes. Let's get ready. Wouldn't want to be late now, would we? Yeah, sure. She goes. No white walls, no flower curtains, no mom, no Liana. Not home. Get a grip, Holly. New place, new day, new you. Got this. Remember, no distractions. Maybe the sister isn't dead. Maybe she ran away from home and now the pressure is all being put on her. We don't know, though. She could be dead, though, still. We have no idea what's going on. Lovely morning, Sister Adira. Hmm. Why, yes. A lovely morning, indeed. If you were here just a bit earlier, you would have caught the sun shining right through that window. Amazing, the little things you notice when you take the time to stop and listen. And that's why we're here, isn't it? <sighs> yep. Sure is. <laughs> Fifty years ago, our founder, Saint Idolora, built this convent in order to train young girls such as yourselves to be proper ladies. Ladies worthy of becoming saints. During her time, the most beautiful flowers bloomed all over the convent. Oh, and the statues... With her skilled hands, in the right light, they'd look so real. I don't think it had anything to do with the lighting. I think it had to do more with the fact that she stuffed people in them. Then, of course, the girls, like scared little lambs, they arrived, sick and broken. But Mother Idolora, oh, she healed them. She fixed them. They all emerged as lovely little angels. Lovely little angels. Mom would call us that all the time. In front of her friends. In the coming days, I'd like you to think of me as a mother. Whether it be concern or confession, you may come to me. Yeah, I'll consider it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sister. That's a very kind gesture. Now, before we start, here's a quick schedule of the recollection. Huh? Opening remarks. They're all just led by you. Facing sin, moving past our shortcomings, rosary and prayer, finding Mary amidst the chaos of current times, Defining woman, embracing the natural role, rosary and prayer, confession, covering the cracks, the road to saintly perfection. It's all just her. <laughs> That's literally what I said. It's all her. Uh, yes? Any questions? I think they took uh, some tips from the first visual novel they did where it was like, there's too many characters, and now there's like just a handful on this one. None! This all looks really exciting. It is. Most of your time will consist of silent recollection and prayer sessions. But, as I've said before, aside from reflection, we shall also task you with action. What type of action are we talking about? Like a hammer to glass? Whew. Simple tasks. Cooking, cleaning... This convent doesn't maintain itself, you know. Mm. Yeah. And I expect you to attend to it with the utmost care. This is a holy place, after all. Newly inducted nuns have done similar things in the past. If any of you find yourself hearing the call, well, think of this as a great training opportunity. No promises. Yeah, no promises. Could have just nodded your head. I expect none. But you may be surprised. 
The call finds us at the strangest of times, in the strangest of places. Now, to start off, let's have a bit of an exercise now, shall we? I'd like to show you something. Ah, lovely, isn't she? Wholesome, pure, chaste. The face of a saint if I ever saw one. What face? There's no second guessing, no desperate search for her place in the world. She is content to know that she is exactly Ooh, nice. where God wants her to be. However, sadly, this is not always the case. The world is moving so fast these days. People coming up with all sorts of answers to their problems. So many opportunities are now open to bright young women such as yourselves. You can be anything. Scientists, lawyers, businesswomen, physicians, even artists. And they're all wrapped up so nicely in narratives of fulfillment and prestige. Yeah, I understand, Dana. I just wonder how she's gonna shit on all this stuff of like woman progression, all that. And at times they can sound so appealing. But us women, I knew it. we should not let ourselves get distracted from what really matters. God and family. <laughs> Holly, please come over here. Yeah, sure. <laughs> See, if you have ambition, that's the devil talking. <laughs> now. I want you to write down all the things that might be stopping you from being a proper child of God. Well, this should be easy. I'm gonna put all those Christian life education classes to good use. Autism as a joke. Uh, let's go with the original sin. Well, it all dates back to the beginning, doesn't it? Eve leading Adam astray. Original sin has left its mark on our souls, and thus man must live with concupiscence. A lovely textbook definition of the matter, Miss Beltran. But we're here to talk about you. What are the things that hinder you from becoming a child of God? There's... there's nothing. I'm perfectly fine. All that stuff last year? I'm already over it. Girl, what happened? Um... well... What happened, girl? What happened? It's the stuff that mom always complains about. Maybe talk about those. Party culture? Hmm. I... Um... Well, there's party cult- Miss Beltran. I recall confiscating a particular book from you the other day. Oh, that... Of course she'd bring that up. Well, that stuff... It really isn't a big deal or anything. I'm sure there are other things. Oftentimes, I find it best that we start with the small things. But, if you want, perhaps we can talk about other things. Your family life, perhaps? Family life. Maybe you should talk about it. Let's talk about it. You, you really need to talk about it. I... <laughs> no. We don't talk about that. Oh, come on! What is this in Kanto? We don't talk about Bruno? Is everything all right? Holly? Yeah, I'm fine. You're not fine. Let's stick to the small things. 
Hmm. Riley Taylor. Good. I'd also urge you to examine any other pieces of literature that you might be reading. I don't think these are confessions. This is just like listing things you, I don't know. There is a special place in hell for people who lure children to sin and all in the guise of fanciful tales and happy endings. I seriously hate you. I hate you. Hell. It's always hell, isn't it? I just want to read my stories. Jeez, mood. Chill out. It's just a book. <laughs> just a book? So is the Bible. And yet, such a book has built cathedrals, formed nations, saved souls. Also caused many wars. Hands, don't you think the opposite is also possible? Look, I really don't see the problem here. Kylie's a good witch. Kindness <gasps> and friendship are what end up saving the day. She reads the same book. She reads the book. She reads it. She reads the series. In the end, that's all that matters, right? What is she doing? She's defending you! This, this is an argument you're going to win. You're simplifying the matter, Gabriella. These things, these stories, I know it all must seem harmless at first. It's all just make-believe after all. Brightly colored spells and magical creatures. They make it so easy to get caught up in the the fantasy but understand these are all subtle seductions they distract <laughs> everything distracts in your opinion lady and that at its core these spells and rituals and familiars it uh... all back to the occult We've all strayed so far. In the Old Testament, people like Kylie would have been stoned to death. Miss Rivera, why don't you give this activity a try? Can't think of anything. Is that so? Do you think your life is perfect, Miss Rivera? No. No, of course not. We're all far from perfect here. But my mind's just drawing blanks right now. Then perhaps I can be of help. Your help is not helpful. More often than not, I find that the biggest obstacle young girls like you often face lies in the environment you place yourself in. You mean public school? You mean the public school that she has to attend? Yeah. Like, what's her argument? I see. Hmm. reflect on your friends have they been a positive influence she might not have friends you don't even know yeah they have helped me through pretty tough times your mother has told me a different story really no yes sneaking <laughs> out to these social gatherings coming home late at night Surrounding yourself with the wrong sort of people. The wrong sort? Please understand. It's not entirely no, your like, fault. Woman, you don't, lady, you don't, you don't even understand what the hell she's going through. You only know things from the mother's side. Listen to her. I was young once. I know how it's like. Like you, bitch, the fuck you do. You're at a very sensitive age. And it's at this time that young girls are met with a whole new world of temptations. Yeah, whatever. Look, just drop it. 
It is easy to mistake desire Oh my for god. Love. You don't even know if but that's what she's doing. Love, true love can only occur between a chaste man and a chaste woman. All right. Stop. Gabriella, running away will only serve to worsen your struggle. If you would simply be honest. Shut up! Yes! Only you can help yourself, Miss Rivera. I am merely a witness. The scars you have are far worse. You can't see them. But they dig deep. Deep at your soul. Shut the fuck up. Miss Beltran, I would like your opinion. Have I done something wrong? Do I upset you? <gasps> Happy Halloween! Okay. I should just say something, anything to just stop this. <laughs> You don't have to be so pushy. Uh, I, um... No. Oh, come on! That's not going to work. It just make her mad. Raise voice is shouting, then a whole new set of rules to make sure it doesn't happen again. Yes? Uh, I... I just thought of another thing to write down. TV! It distracts me all the time. My grades aren't as high as they could be, but if I just cut down on my TV time, I know I can focus. Girl. Hmm. It takes real courage to improve yourself. And right now, Miss Holly here is being very brave. And I know you can be brave as well, Gabriella. No, you just put her on the spawn. She's trying to get out of an awkward situation like I am whenever a weird guy tries to hit on me at work. Whatever. I'm done here. Yeah, leave. You leave. You don't have to put up with her shit. Miss Beltran, I'd like you to open your prayer book, page 32, Psalm 103, verse 10. Please say a prayer for Miss Gabriella, that she will allow herself to be healed by God's loving grace. Afterwards, you may have a short break. We'll start again once I ring the bell. Yes, sister. Well, here we go again. There's a little bit of peace too much to ask for. I guess it was. Oh, we're Gabriella now. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Do you have another page? <gasps> Oof. There she is. Guess I should go talk to her. I mean, what she said. Defending the Kylie Trainer Taylor books. That was pretty cool. But still, does she seriously think she's going to get a nun to see things her way? Things like that. It doesn't help. It never did. Just more fighting, fighting, and noise. That's all it ever leads to. Yeah, I think Holly was in an abusive household. She does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquity. Iniquities. Blech. You know what to do, Holly. Hey there! How are you doing? What do you think? Right, on cue. So we're doing this again, huh? I think she's punching the tree. I think she's punching the tree. Well, Ooh, what happened back there was pretty weird, wasn't it? <laughs> weird. Uh, okay, um, maybe not the best choice of words. Nope. <laughs> Great, this is awkward. Um, so, what are you up to? Eating the shit out of a tree, what does it look like? What's it to you? Nothing. I was just... Um, 
wondering. But she neglect the other verses. For as high as the heavens are above there, so great is his love for those who fear him. Twelve as far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Meaning, yeah, God doesn't care if we like stupid witch book. <laughs> My mom never liked it when I got angry. Said it reminded her of my father. She'd always say, try channeling your anger into something more productive, Gabby. Pray. Read the Bible. So her mom can call her Gabby, but then she, when she tells the nun to call her Gabby, her, 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 the, the, the nun she's like, No, you're only going to be going by your full God-given name. Blah, 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 blah. I tried, you know. It's a good book with a lot of good ideas. But for some reason, you people like dwelling on some things more than others. Throwing stones, for instance. So don't mind me. I'm just following her advice. I... I see. Helps if you find the big ones. Are you breaking rocks or something? I thought you were punching the tree. <laughs> Such as throwing, though. Oh yeah, she's throwing nice rocks. Juicy crack you get when it hits something. Know what I mean? I can't say that I do. Figures. Hey boy, I gotta find a way to get to her. If I don't, she's just gonna fight with Adira again. I don't want to keep dealing with her. trying to think of what to do. Do we just tell her to ignore her? I think she just, I think we'll just tell her to ignore her because I don't think, uh, I'll also hydrate. Hold on. Yeah, I think we should just tell her to ignore her. As well. Look, I know you're having trouble dealing with Adira. If it helps, whenever people say things that upset me, I try humming a nice little tune in my head. Sometimes I even think of a scene from my favorite story to match the song. Then afterwards, well, I can go about the rest of my day like nothing happened. <laughs> Sounds like a great way to let people walk all over you. N no! It's a way to keep things peaceful and happy for everybody. Why is she being so difficult? Look, we're both stuck here with her, and we're clearly not changing her mind. Fighting with her like this, it's just gonna make it hard for all of us. I just thought it might be better if we all get along. That's all. Please. Just let me help you out. Help me out? Hear that a lot back home. I hear it so often it doesn't really mean anything anymore. Adira wants to help me, you want to help me. <laughs> For some reason, everywhere I go people seem so eager to help me. Especially when it suits them. Yeah. Well, how about this? I'll help myself. And you? You keep to yourself. I... He tried. This isn't going anywhere, is it? <laughs> oh, would you look at that. All out of stones. Anyway, don't let me spoil the mood. After all, you seem to be doing just fine here. Well, that went well. We got a rock. She was lying. 
Still plenty of stones here. <laughs> well, she wasn't lying about that, though. It does feel good. That crack once the stone hits. Yeah, let out that frustration, girl! The afternoon we had a prayer session topped off the lecture of feminine etiquette and the da dangers of dating. <laughs> All very insightful. All things I'm used to. Dinner was awkward. I like Grace and Gabriella. Well, she just kept quiet. Could have been worse. That's also something I'm used to. Pretty fast sleep. She makes it look easy. Oh, the picture got put the bush. <laughs> the picture got pushed back up again. Was Gabriella messing around with my table? No, if anything, it was probably Adira. But I would have seen her if she. Never mind. There, that's better. Hmm. <laughs> This again. My prayers for the future, huh? In the first book, right after Kylie had. <laughs> She's writing more fanfiction again. <laughs> after the hosts of the Sands of the Spirits of Witchwood, they had this huge celebration. Kylie chased flare spirits, stuffed through the lantern marsh, went in her hair, flying in and out of the great canopy. After that, she spent the rest of the night watching the shape-shifting mirrors of the open hall, drinking amber nectar and honey globes, surrounded by all the friends she made along the way. <clears throat> the night was peaceful and still. Dearest Heavenly Father, if I had to ask for something, anything, it would be something like that. And she rips it out again. What the hell, Holly? Seances and spells, flying and witchcraft? Don't get distracted, Holly. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to change. I want to be a better person. I'm far from perfect, so I know I probably don't deserve a happy ending. But I'm trying. At the end of it all, if I try hard enough, I like something like that. A peaceful night, a smile on my face, and spring my step. Walking through a forest, hand in hand with friends. Amen. Ooh, we're picking up right where we left off with the nightmare. Oh, no. You said it yourself. The Bright Queen's secrets died with the Archwitch Elaine. Oh, the cross was just behind the sister. It didn't disappear before. One option. Kylie felt all the eyes in the room turn to her. You can't mean. Perdita piped up, hands shaking in fear. Seance spells are forbidden. To a bunch of mischief makers like ourselves, nothing is forbidden. Grab your spell keys, friends. It's a long way to the rotting wood. Tonight, we'll be speaking with the dead. Wood? Language, Liana. Shh, shut up and read the next chapter. I've got to see what happens next. I'm getting sleepy. What? Seriously? Just, just one more chapter. Remember what happened this morning? If you keep sleeping in, she's gonna get suspicious. Yeah, I don't want mom ruining the fun. Mm. Look, come on, we can continue reading tomorrow. I don't want tomorrow to come. I hate mornings. Liana. When I wake up late, she calls me lazy. Then, I wake up too early, and she says I need more sleep. Yeah, I feel that my mom's like this. And when I do wake up on time, she just finds something else to complain about. Look, just... just do as she says, okay? I... I can even help you out. I've got your back. 
She'll listen to me. Don't worry. Hey, maybe we can... You say that. You always say that. But when it comes down to it, you stand there with your mouth shut. You make it look so easy. You know? Mom's perfect little angel. Yana... Look, I don't like it either. No, no. Ah! I thought I disabled these buttons. Shit! Hold on. There we go. The rules, the lectures, especially when she gets mad at you. Just do as she says. Things can go back to normal. Normal for you? I want to go out and meet with my friends. I want to watch movies. I want to have some fun. For once. She lets us do those things. No, she doesn't. This is early in my childhood, but without a sister. We watch her movies. We visit her friends. And if anything we want happens to be outside of what the stupid church thinks is good for us, Liana! What? It's true. Give me a haunted forest and a seance spell any day. I'll have better luck talking to ghosts. <gasps> All right. One more chapter. How's that? Chapter 19. The Wraith in the Walls. The forest loomed over them. Dark and quiet, Kylie led the way, raising up a jar of flare flies. The purple leaves of the underbrush crunching against their feet. I'm... I'm getting a glass of water. Just make sure to be quiet. You don't want to wake them. Cut out. Oh no. Oh no. Can't move. Just like last night. <laughs> Honey, room seems so dark at first. Okay, okay, deep breaths, Holly. This is fine. This is normal. Calm down. Panicking never helps. The more you try, the worse it'll get. Just lie still. You'll fall back asleep soon. What was that? I do not like the fact that the text is red. I do not like that the text is red. I do not like that. Yeah, that's right. Don't worry, Holly, it's nothing. You're just imagining things. It's fine. It's fine. This is all fine. Statues are now looking at us again with the cracked faces. Close your eyes and go back to sleep. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. Move. Come on. I can just move my hands and the rest will follow. Please get up. Move fingers. Statues just appeared out of nowhere. This one is like really broken too. Oh no, 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 no. 
It's all a dream. Just a dream. There's nothing there. We're just imagining things. Please, just go away. I can't. Please. Please. Just go away. Back and we're back in the daily. Mm -hmm. Yana, keep it down. Why so noisy? Gabriel is having a dream about her dad. Since hanging around here. <sighs> and there's no way I'm going back to sleep with that. Hello? The bell tolls for thee. Guess everyone's still asleep. This is kind of exciting, though. Oh, it's just like the stories. Here to explore castles all the time. I wonder if it also has trap doors or secret passages hidden in the walls. I mean, it very well might. It very well might. Oop, I accidentally hit my mic. We have no idea. I think I read somewhere that nuns used them during the war to hide. Hey, maybe during my free time I could explore a bit. Maybe you can forge a map? <laughs> Once the week's over, I'd have mastered the castle. Holy Beltron, the Lord of Dark Passages. Lone crowned queen of the castle. Sounds fun. Real fun. Hopefully the nuns didn't hear you. <laughs> that nun was right. This place. There is a special air to it. Hmm. Oh, another statue. There's just so many of them around here. Strange. Haven't noticed this one before. This is a new one. It probably wasn't there before at all. Do you like it? Oh! Sister Atira! I didn't see you there. My dear, I've lived most of my life here. When sworn to the cloth, moving Happy around silently Halloween. becomes quite the habit. Uh... Yeah, that pun didn't land. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead, laugh at your own joke. Bit of a joke. It sucked. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I can be a bit slow sometimes. It's fine, dear. You don't need to humor me. Unfortunately, comedy is one thing the Bible doesn't cover too well. Hmm. Don't say. But what I do know are the stories of our beloved saints. Saint Rosa de Lima. Are you familiar? Um, just a bit. Is that so? Yes. I've noticed you, Holly. Walking around the convent, observing our statues. I have a hunch that there's more to you than meets the eye. <laughs> well now, don't be shy. Tell me about her. I want to see what's inside that head of yours. Well... <clears throat> Patron saint of the Philippines, also of florists, gardeners, and family con 
conflict. Do you know a lot about... She was born in 1586, canonized in 1671, feast day, August 30th. Hmm, impressive. Well, back in school, each class was assigned a patron saint. I think it was in the fourth grade? We had a little painting of her at the back of our homeroom. Our Christian life teacher was super strict. Would call us up front, and if you got just one date wrong, then... Then there'd be hell to pay. Well, let's just say I made sure to never forget. <laughs> a relatable experience. Ah, <sighs> Mother Idolora was the same. I always had trouble with the years. Oh, so you were one of those sick and poor girls that were brought here then. All those numbers, they'd always get jumbled up in my head. Wait, the Dolora? You knew her? Knew her? <laughs> she was my mentor. Taught me everything I know. But oh, it seems I've given away my age. And here I hoped to pass for a woman in her 40s. <laughs> yeah, no, you would never pass for 40. I... Uh, well, I didn't mean to... I told you not to humor me, child. Oh. Uh. <laughs> okay. But that's the thing now, isn't it? Whether it's for the saints or for ourselves, we're always so obsessed with dates, aren't we? Why is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's not giving a lecture. She's not so bad. What should I say? Uh... I know, right? When it came to schoolwork, I felt like a parrot memorizing and repeating things on cue. That's right. <laughs> I felt the exact same way, like squawking obedient little birds. <laughs> Though, <clears throat> to be fair, such things are a necessary part of our education. It helps keep the mind disciplined, lest our thoughts idle elsewhere. However, when it comes to saints, I always found their stories to be so much more interesting than simple dates. Though, it's comforting to know they're teaching you the right things over there. Others aren't as fortunate, and it shows. Stop, stop talking shit about Gabby. We each have our own little story to play out. Some are content to simply live out their lives. They fail to leave a mark on the world. You mean, living doesn't... Th th that's not the point of living. But some, those who rise up through extraordinary acts, well, they become saints. Statues such as these ensure they are always remembered. And when we remember them, we can strive to imitate them. Yeah, and from the trailer, your version of imitating them is shoving people inside of statue recreations of them. So, what do you think of it? Huh? The statue. Oh, well, I... I should probably say... I've seen better days because it's full of cracks and stuff. It's too bad, though. The paint's peeling off. Ah, uh, yes. And to think I just treated that one a few years back. It's very odd. No matter Probably how many times conversation. I try to paint her, it all just comes right off. Must be the humidity. That's too bad. Though, 
despite everything, still she stands. I can relate. See the top of her head? It was meant to evoke the very special crown she wore. Small little spikes lined across the inside. Yeah, I remember that part. A crown of thorns. She really strived to be more like Christ. Yes. We all have our own ways of showing devotion. Thus. So the way I see it... Sounds, sounds painful. painful. Indeed it was. But that's how it is. After all, if the road to sainthood was easy, well, then I'd have a lot more statues to attend to. <laughs> this sure brings back memories. Whenever I found myself overwhelmed with responsibilities, Mother Idolora would remind me of dear Rosa de Lima. Hmm. We all have our little crowns to wear. Wear yours with pride, Holly. Um, sure thing. Thank you. Glad we could talk. Oh, would you look at the time? Where is the other one? I'll meet you in the common hall in a few minutes. Last minute bathroom breaks and all that. Hmm. Doesn't look like she's enjoying it. Not in the slightest. Noise. Such a simple thing. The honking of car horns, the shuffling footsteps of a crowd, the whisper of a seatmate. Some of us like background noise, Adira. It's easy to take this as the norm. I say having to deal with constant fish tank pumping and water noises in the basement living room of my house. But this place, this sanctuary, offers a very special silence. A very special sense of isolation. And I want the two of you to take advantage of that. When left to the sanctity of our own personal thoughts, well, we tend to encounter all sorts of things. Guilt, shame, self-doubt. But also love, understanding, insight. Yes, insight. God's very special insight. And who knows? You might even hear the calling. The calling? Why, yes. Oh, those were the days. She's just like sleeping, standing up. And so, for today, I would like both of you to practice silence. Not a single word. Am I clear? Yes, sister. It reminds me of the day of silence days we used to do in school. I would be like the only one who ever managed to like successfully go through the whole day without saying a word. But the day, day of silence was for like a, I believe it was like a pride thing. I would, like, I would like literally carry around a whiteboard. And then that whiteboard came in handy whenever I got strep throat and also couldn't talk those days either. <laughs> I used to get strep throat a lot when I was young. Like, every year, at least once. Silence and isolation. Things I'm good at. Perfect. You're, you, it really feels like you're just asleep standing up. Miss Gabriella. <laughs> Is she really asleep? Oh, sorry. I thought we already started. Here we go. Please don't be coy with me, Miss Gabriella. 
I'm sure a woman of your age and upbringing would know the difference between following instructions to the letter and simple etiquette. Don't you agree, Miss Beltran? Damn it. Again, 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 why do I have to do this? I'm confident we can all tell the difference, Sister Adira. I'm pretty sure it was just a harmless joke. Isn't that right, Gabriella? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Let's go with that. As I've said before, I can only do so much, dear. The rest is up to you. Going back to what I was saying... On your booklets, you will find prayers that you may read silently during these hours. Also, take note of the reflection questions at the end of each segment. At the end of the day, we will have a group sharing session. I expect productive and insightful answers from the two of you. Very well. I have certain matters to attend to. However, I'll be checking up on you two regularly. Miss Beltran, see to it that Miss Rivera behaves herself. Yes, I will. Thank you, dear. Yeah, she's wearing at us. I need some peace and quiet. Coming from <laughs> anime. Is that oh? Is that a Walkman? I guess it's not like fully modern. It's still like kind of older, like maybe early two thousands. Yes. Yes, it is. Oh. Oh boy. How do you manage to sneak that in? Why? It's just a Walkman. I'm no music expert, but I'm pretty sure whatever you're listening to is not gonna fly by Adira. <sighs> Looks like you caught me. Well, if you must know, I replaced the cover. Nothing but clean and wholesome Christian songs here. When people are always on your case, learn a thing or two about hiding things. She just keeps on pushing it, doesn't she? It's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, like, replacing the cover of books and stuff to, like, make it look like other things. That's always what people do when they don't want others to know what they're doing or reading or looking at. Still. You're gonna snitch on me. <laughs> I'm just saying, if Adira catches you... If she catches me. Unless... you're gonna do something about it. So... Are you? N no! Look, I'm just... looking out for you. If she finds out, she'll confiscate it. Just like she confiscated your book? <laughs> that's what happened, right? Y yeah but that's not... What book was it again? Kylie Taylor, right? Not exactly wholesome Christian material, is it? It's not... It's not that bad. Well, it's not what they think. Witchcraft, seances, magic spells. Satan's way of corrupting the youth. So, are they right? No! No, they're not. Ever consider that they might be wrong about all the other things? Uh, of course. I... Look, I'm not like that. I'm not like them. Reasonable. Really, no. Could've fooled me. You come here with that nice little smile on your face, got your Bible verses memorized, wearing your Sunday best. You even make the sign every time you pass by a cross. Do I do that? I... I hadn't noticed. Then... 
You get up in my face every time I break the rules. Rules which you say you don't believe in. So, whose side are you really on? Why do I have to, have to choose a side? Why can't I just, just be? I'm on your side. <laughs> really? Do you really mean that? Because it sure doesn't feel like it. The way I see it, you're either a liar or a coward. We are a coward, yes. <laughs> How dare she. You think it's just that easy, don't you? <laughs> then I strike a nerve. Not used to being called out, are you? I... <laughs> I can't believe I have to deal with this. Well, how about you? What are you trying to accomplish? Atira's been doing this for years. You really think all your sass is enough to change your mind? They don't change their minds. That's just how it works. There's no changing her mind. I know that. It was never about that. It's like... Look, I don't need to explain it to you. But at least at the end of the day, I'm standing up for myself. That's all that matters. <laughs> what is with all this noise? You are disrupting the liturgy of the hours! Jesus Christ, you're hideous. Um... Damn it, now look at what you did. Okay, Kali, think of something. Sisters? Did not the Mother Superior explicitly forbid you to speak? Oh, I am well aware. It's just that there was this huge spider. I got so freaked out, almost had a heart attack. <laughs> the simple virtue of obedience. Is that so difficult to grasp? Shut the fuck up. Definitely. I hold obedience in the highest regard. I'm just... really scared of spiders. But don't worry, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Yep, huge spider. You should have seen it. Real terrifying. <laughs> now, there, there, Sister Reyna. We can't expect everyone to take quickly to the discipline asked of the Edelorian Order. Give it time. The Mother Superior will smooth out all those foul little edges. I don't like you. <laughs> now where was I? Ah, oh, yes. After the liturgy, we'll be meeting with Father Sibula, so make sure that... Jeez, what rosary beads got stuck up their asses? But you, you didn't skip a beat, did you? Came up with an excuse right on the spot. I'd be impressed if it wasn't so predictable. <laughs> a liar it is then, eh? Uh, she should just shut up. I don't want to slap her. But maybe she'll like it if we slap her? I have no idea. We'll, 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 we'll test out both options. Did I already save? Yeah. Go on, Holly. Just slap her. That's what you want to do, right? What's the matter? Mom? Dad? They used to slap you all the time. Uh, I, f I figured. Don't you get a turn? Excuse me. I've got to go to the bathroom. I think it's the same outcome no matter what. Of course you didn't go through with it. You never do, do you? Even when you want to. 
Just rather smile and make up a story to squirm your way out of trouble. That's just the way things are, aren't they? And that's probably why she's right. They're all right. I hate this. Oh, the text is changing again. Why are you always How like this? Should I, know? <sighs> I just do these things. I just have a way of doing things. A system. It works. Facts tell a different story. Keep telling yourself that. I, I will. Right? Sure didn't work out for Liana. <laughs> She's crying. Shut up. I don't want to talk about that. Liar. Shut up. Stop it. Stop it. Liar, 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 liar. Shut up! She's laughing. Damn it, Holly. You're making a pretty big fool of yourself right now. Plant here. All rotting. Not all like witchwood. Where the dire oaks grow as tall as skyscrapers. And the sky blossoms shine with the color of sunsets. And there I go again. Thinking about... These stupid little things. Stupid, stupid distractions. Maybe I am fooling myself. Is everything all right, dear? <laughs> oh, yeah. Everything's oh, the fine. sneaky nun from before. The sneaky nun's back. You guys still with me? I hope none of you fell asleep. <laughs> Is that so? Well, let me tell you. I think I'm quite sharp when it comes to these things. Blessed are those who cry, for they shall laugh. Huh? <laughs> there now. And now she's sharp nun instead of sneaky nun. Tears are nothing to be embarrassed about. In fact, tears have been known to have a healing power to them. Especially when it comes from someone very, very holy. I'm, I'm not. I, I wasn't crying. It's just. It's just. I came here to start over. And I. I don't know what I was hoping for, really. It all seems real silly now that I'm saying it all out loud. I guess. I guess I just wanted things to be different. And at first I thought it was. I mean, things definitely looked different. Hallways are huge. There's paintings and statues everywhere. Not all like home. But it all still feels the same. Different coat of paint. Same script. And no matter how hard I try, I'm just stuck doing all the things I usually do. And it's just reminding me of things that I wanted to forget. Why am I doing this? I really shouldn't be saying all this out loud. You know, she is a nun. I've just met her. Well, it's not like I'm mentioning anything specific. Well, I might know what that's like. I never really got along with my family. <laughs> they thought I was a bother. A big, dumb nuisance just wasting space in the house. But then, when I stepped through this convent's large wooden doors, well, I felt like I could start fresh. 
become someone new. Really? That's... That's pretty cool. That hits surprisingly close to home. Moving away from your family by joining a convent. Doesn't sound like a bad idea. <laughs> oh, well, it wasn't all heavenly choirs and harps right away. Just like you, I was quite a handful to deal with. Oh, I was so chatty. My sister said they could hear my laughter from the other end of the convent. I'd forget the prayers, was late to meals. One time, I even spilled soup all over Sister Raina's habit. Oh, she gave me hell for that one. I suppose what I'm saying is, these things take time. What else? Oh, yes. She said to always top it off with an anecdote. Oh, I've got one. St. Mary of Egypt. Have you ever heard of her? Uh, yeah? Not sure when she was born, but her feast day is April 1st. Patron Saint of Chastity. Oop, I accidentally hit the wrong button. You see, in the early years of her life, she used to... Um... Well, let's just say she was quite sinful. In fact, you see, she, she was a, a... A thief! Yes, that's it. I think you're lying. I think she was a prostitute or something like that. I don't know. I don't know anything about this stuff. I'm just making shit up. I'm just making guesses. Please don't cancel me for that. She wasn't, she was a prostitute. Oh. I was trying to make a joke. I didn't think I'd be right. But once she entered one of the great churches of Jerusalem, she too underwent a great change. In fact, in the final years of her life, she was said to possess miraculous powers. Why, what did you miss, Dana? <laughs> Wherever she went, the sun would shine, birds would sing. She would walk on water like it was solid ground, and even talk to lions. They were her that. adorable little guardians. You could say it was almost like... magic. Um... I'm not sure if that's exactly how her story went. Well, she's trying. And so, um, what I'm saying is that it was uh, with she was faith talking and the help of God, we can wash away the sins of the past, like they never happened. She was talking about um the patron Saint Mary of Egypt, who was the saint of chastity, patron saint of chastity. But the irony is she used to be a prostitute. And just like her, in our new life here, we can start anew. Doesn't that sound great? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it does. <laughs> Sorry, not the best at telling stories. But the Mother Superior always says we can look to them for inspiration even in the darkest of times. And of course, there's always prayer. If you ever find the burdens of the world too hard to bear, just try the Hail Mary. Trust me, it helps. <laughs> All right, I'll keep that in mind. She may not be the guest, best at giving advice, but she's nice. Hey, um... I appreciate the help. Honestly, it's... It's a breath of fresh air. <laughs> nice done. Her name keeps changing. We don't know what her actual name is. Now then, this is a holy place. Not a sad place. Cheer up. Jesus loved nothing more than the laughter of children. Um... I... I guess I'll try. There you go. Keep that angelic little smile. It suits you. 
Wasn't I smiling? I didn't notice. I guess I was. And she gone. Without footsteps. Well, I guess I gotta go back in there. Luckily, the deer did say today was a day of silence. Since if I don't make eye contact and avoid saying anything, I can enjoy the quiet. And then, maybe after a while, maybe things will change. Maybe. No, we go over here. Are you sleepwalking? Dearest Heavenly Father, the recollection has been going splendidly. We've just finished another productive day. Though I have to admit, it's been challenging. Don't want as cooperative as others, but I find that every now and then, taking a little break to work on the statues helps ease my nerves. Oh, oh dear. Another crack. There, there now. Oh, this won't do. Perfection. Only perfection. Statues are even. They don't talk back. They're receptive to change. And if I don't like how it turned out, well, I can always start over. Paint away the flaws of the brand new coat of paint. Till it's perfect. After you had suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself perfect, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. <sighs> Good and simple work. <clears throat> still looks creepy. The baby is still missing his nose. But of course, I am still very thankful for this opportunity to pass on your teachings. It's just that, well, perhaps it has been a while. <sighs> Spending too much time in silence, <laughs> it makes every little noise seem louder. Oh, just look at me. Here I am complaining like an old fool. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here we improve. We become better day by day. And we're back to the flashbacks. Liana, what was that? It, it was dark. I, I couldn't see. I was so tossed it over. What did you do? Oh. No, 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 no. Broke the Mother Mary. Mom's favorite. Quick, quick, get her pieces! You said you're gonna wake Mom up. Mom, Mary! We're so sorry! Apologize as well, Leon. But. Apologize! Mom, Mary? I'm so sorry. What, what do we do now? Mom can't find out. She'll be so mad. She'll notice it's missing if you don't try to fix it, at least. We can fix it. Put it all back together so she can't tell the difference. But, but there's so many pieces. How, how will we... Shh, don't worry. Just trust me, okay? I've got some glue over here. Uh, okay. There. Just hold it still. You're gonna... No, it's fine. We just need a little more glue, that's all. Perfect Oh no. Why? It's not right. Not right at all. 
Yeah, that doesn't... Hmm... Everything is... Hmm... Turn to the bus. But you always like this. Couldn't you just sit still and not ruin anything for once? Yeah. So that's how it's gonna be. <laughs> you say you have my back, but when it comes down to it, you always just stand there with your mouth shut. Why do I feel like maybe the parents accidentally beat their second daughter into a coma? If she's not dead. Jesus. <laughs> I just wish things were different. Wish that I could be different. Wish that I could be better. I'm here for you. Yeah. Um, better. I think my wish is true. I don't know. It's like that. Don't worry, Holly. We'll start over. Trust me. It's all gonna be fine. Come on. I'll show you. I don't like that fleshy thumb. <laughs> Is that yeah? Was that you just now? The fleshy thump is real! There it is again. Something's wrong. So, I need to go. She needs me. Maybe I have no idea, Dana, but right now things are getting real. something. Hello? It's her. It has to be. We need to keep moving. Liana? Are you there? We're there. Hello? Damn it, Holly. Going into strange rooms, hearing strange voices. This is all so weird. Exciting, don't you think? Right, it is kind of exciting. That's why my heart's beating so fast. Kylie Taylor always gets into these kinds of situations. Witch in training? 
Holly Beltron takes her first step into the dark hallway. On a secret mission to find... Voices I heard. When I was half asleep. Now that my head's clearing up, it does sound kind of stupid. Oh boy. Just... What the hell were you thinking, Holly? Oops, someone's coming. Oh no. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Oh, Gabby! Damn it! G Gabriella? Who? She's Gabby. Holly? Is. Is that you? What are you doing here? Me? I'm supposed to ask you that. Well, I... Um... Awkward. Should I say? That was a fucking truth for once. There was a sound. Didn't you hear it? A sound? What do you mean? Like some pounding noise? heard a voice. Like Liana's. Are you serious? You better not be screwing around with me, okay? I wasn't! I... I was probably just hearing things. <sighs> I can't believe this. Anyway, let's just go now. Oh, I think that was just the floorboards. You sure? It sounded way too loud to be just floorboards. Seen her like this. She's shaking all over. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Gabriella, are you... Are you scared of the dark? What? No. And you still didn't answer my question. Why'd you follow me? That's a stupid question. You just get up and leave in the middle of the night, leaving the door wide open. What the hell's wrong with you? So I spooked you, and you didn't want to be left alone? Wow, no, Holly. I didn't say that. Yeah. Too good to pass up. You sure you're not a tiny bit scared? Cause the way I see it, you're either a liar or a coward. I like to work too far. Maybe, but who cares? I need some of this. <laughs> so it's gonna be like that, huh? Real mature. Well, can I make the loud noise? Hmm, I wonder. outcome pushing this far maybe but who cares I need some of this look here it's the middle of the night in an old convent it's straight out of some horror movie she's not wrong if anything you're the one who's weird for not being a tiny bit terrified okay huh never thought about it like that I guess I'm just used to sneaking around the house at night Papa asleep. That was his best time to play. The dark never really scared me. In fact, I kind of like it. Oh, I'm sorry about your back, Dana. I'm kind of crampy right now to myself. I might call the stream soon once I get to a good point to save. The mornings that I don't like brings to light all the little things you miss in the dark. Are you for real? Do you feel cool now? God. I ever think I might have just been concerned for you? 
concerned for me? Right. Oh, I've tried, you know. Tried to be nice and friendly. But for some reason, you just don't seem to get it. <sighs> don't seem to get it? Why are we fighting now? Please, I know your type. You just pissed because I saw right through your bullshit day one. Sorry, I can't hear you. Why don't you come a little closer into this dark and scary room? Why are you picking fights? I'm kind of relieved to see that behind that fake-ass smile, you're just as immature as everyone else. Shut up! Quit acting like you know me because you don't! Why are you yelling? <laughs> There was laughter just now. What was that? I told you to stop. Th that wasn't me. <gasps> what was that? There's feeding organs inside of here. What? Is that? No, that's. That's not right. There's crying baby. Broken ceramic, splintered wood, fallen statue, pushed, gust of wind, just gust of wind, maybe a rat. That's that's all it was. It was just a sniff in the dark. That's all. Holly, please tell me that this is all just some joke. I didn't. I, I was had no just... idea. That wasn't me. We should go. <sighs> oh god, there's creepy prayers now. What? Where's that coming from? It must be the nuns. I hear them pray. What are you talking about? It's been quiet here every night. Really quiet. Oh, okay, so. Trust me, I would know. A very light sleeper. What's making that sound? Statues are moving. What the hell? It's. It's coming from outside. So close. Yeah, that's a good idea. I hear the heart beat again. What? what is this? The statues of the nuns are all praying to the sin. I knew people were being made in the statues, but is every single statue a person?
parents were asleep, would walk around really, really slowly, talking in whispers, playing our little games and toys that we hid so well, all the while careful not to make a sound, because if we woke them, we'd hear their footsteps echoing across the house like thunder, and then as fast as we could, we'd pack up all the toys and books, hands moving as fast as we could to fix the mess we made, and we'd tuck ourselves underneath the sheets and listen, hoping, praying that we left no sign that we were up. I was really good at staying still, even if my heart was beating fast. If I took small enough breaths, lied still, perfectly still, like a statue. Scream to you. Oh, God. Are, are you okay? Shit. 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 How was that? Did that all just happen? Yes, you both saw it. There are several statues. There's six statues in here. On just this side of the room alone. Oh, Holly. Look what you did. This is what you wanted. For things to be different. Isn't that right? An eerie procession. Back to me. I'm gonna save. Spooky. I think on the note of it finally getting really spooky and me feeling more crampy. <sighs> I think either way we went because for some reason like a lot of these choices um happy halloween a lot of these choices outside the ones where <laughs> the certain ones she doesn't why are you throwing the pumpkins at me What was I going to say? Oh, she doesn't seem to, like, listen to any of the player choices, like, a lot of the time. Like, she does it regardless. Ah. Well, you threw the first one at me. But, like, I'm I'm honestly interested so far in what's going on. Like, really interested in what's going on. It was, like, a <laughs> bit of a slow start. But, ooh, it's, re <laughs> it's reuniting with the sun. It's really picking up now. So. Anyway. Exit. After I save again. Chapter 13, the box. Anyway. Good night. Boy.